Hey guys, welcome back to another Fly Tying Tuesday with Avid Max. My name is Max, and today we're gonna to be tying the Chromie Coronamid. Uh, simple little fly, uh, good still water pattern. Um, got some flash, got some hot spot in there, uh, got some weight. Um, good looking fly, put it in front of a fish, you might eat it. So, in the vise, I got a Arex FW, which is freshwater 530. This is a size 14. And uh, this is the barbed version, the 531 is the barbless. So with some Loctite, lay down a little bit of super glue here. And then got some 100 denier, Semperfly Nano Silk. And we're just gonna make a couple of wraps. We wanna be really slim with this. Just gotta get that bead back over. So we got a two and a half mil tungsten bead in the gun metal. And I'm gonna start with some uh, Sparkle Emerger yarn. This is the cream, uh, cream or white will do just fine. And we're gonna get about 15 to 20 strands. And we're gonna tie this down. Right behind. Eye, and then we're gonna make a wrap or two in front just to pop it up and do a quick whip finish. Pull that out of the way. And three turns ought to do it. Got that in there snugly. And that out as close as we can and securely in there and we'll slide the bead up and over so there you go so now we're going to go back in there with the black thread again and build up a little bit of a thread body snip out our tag keep flattening out the thread and Make it even all the way down to the bend of the hook here. Right past the barb. Work up, I'm trying to keep a nice smooth body so that when I lay down my tinsel or my flashaboo, it's going to stay um, wrapped a little more evenly. It's kind of a slippy, slippery material on slippery material, so we want to try to get it as flat as possible. Here's my holographic magnum flashaboo. I'm gonna tie that in right against the side closest to me. And work it down just past the barb. Same thing, kinda of got that evenness in the body. Then I've got some small black wire. Uh, this one is the 0.2 millimeter uh, from Semperfly. So just black wire, good option um, if we're out of something else. Kind of interchange between Uni, UTC, and Semperfly. And we're gonna tie that in as well and bring it down. right behind the bead there. I'm gonna trim this up just a little bit. We'll trim it up finally at the end. Uh, this is just to keep my thread out of the way. So instead of doing a half hitch, I'm just gonna do a quick whip finish. And we're gonna slide our bobbin cradle over there and we're gonna try to use the, the rotary feature here. This is one where it makes sense to me so I can get nice even wraps and it's slippery so I can keep tension on it the whole time. And this we're gonna go back down and back up again, so no worries.
sure you don't catch your tinsel on your hook point there. And then we'll go back up one more time. Just kind of covering any gaps we might have missed. So there's that. Grab my thread free again. Spin everything out of the way. Snip out my flashaboo. Now I'm going to make the rib with my wire. And try to go the opposite direction. Nice even segmentations. Capture that. Couple in front, couple behind. And do another helicopter out there. And then I'm gonna do another little whip finish. Snip out my thread. And now we're gonna add in our little hotspot. So I've got some Semperfly, this is the classic waxed. Uh, this is a fluorescent orange. And we're just gonna build a little bit of a collar right behind the bead here. Snip out our pretty good and we'll do a quick whip finish to finish her off I found my thread. And then I'm going to take some Solarez bone dry, just a little bit. We're going to throw this on the body. Kind of even up everything, really making it look nice and shiny. kind of move that stuff around to kind of make sure the body is even on the fly, which is cool about the UV. And we can hit it with our torch. Get everything feel dries really quickly it's not hard so now we're gonna cut to length I like to do about there about the length of your you know say from the eye of your hook to about where you finish your hot spot or your collar or whatever is about the length that you want. So there you have it, Chromie Coronamid.